Hey guys, this video is brought to you by Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. If you're interested in going to a coding bootcamp, make sure you give them a look. The link is in the description tab below. They're focusing on all the latest web development technologies that you need to get your foot in the door in the industry as quickly as possible. So when it comes to these two languages, they actually have a very similar type of uh, looking syntax. So you can see that both of these languages actually make heavy use of white space. When it comes to actually a learning curve, Python definitely has the advantage. There's a reason why Python is the most taught language in, in universities. Um, w both languages are relatively easy to learn. If you have a computer with an internet connection, you can download Ruby or Python, install it on, on your machine whether it's Mac, Windows, or, or Linux, and you're gonna be able to start writing actual code in Python or, or Ruby. So there's no, there's no upfront cost for any of that. No hidden fees, nothing. So neither one of these two languages are considered to be a fast language. Um, Python and Ruby are both dynamically in, interpreted, which means that naturally they're not gonna be as fast as a language like Java uh, or C Sharp, and definitely not as fast as a C++ or C or something like that. So. If you're looking for raw speed to build games or something like that, you're not going to use Python or Ruby. When it comes to longevity and stamina, both languages have been around for quite some time. Python was started in 1990 by a mathematician named Guido Van Rossum, while Ruby was started in 1995 by Yukihiro Matsumoto. Uh, Python has the larger community, though, more developers. Um, Python's in more areas, which we'll see throughout this video, but uh, Python would definitely win when it comes to longevity and community support. So when it comes to machine learning, the um, popular field of machine learning or artificial intelligence, there is no comparison between Python and Ruby. Python completely blows Ruby out of the water. Most of the data scientist jobs are actually dealing with some sort of Python and, and, uh, and not Ruby. So if you needed some sort of machine level, uh, machine learning type of library, even if you're using or building a website, um, Python's going to be the better option because like with, if you're going to use Flask or Django, you could integrate with one of those Python machine learning libraries uh, where Ruby on Rails, you don't really have that option. So when it comes to robotics, um, once again, Python's actually going to be the winner in this regard. This is a picture of the Mars Curiosity rover, which I'm not really sure why I added it, but it's a cool robot and it's actually using C. Uh, but with Python, the popularity of Python can be attributed to really the robot operating system being one of the most widely used operating systems for robotics and Python being one of the main languages behind it. And then on the Ruby side, you have the R2 project, which is actually um, a library that syncs very well with something like the Arduino or uh, the Raspberry Pi. And by the way, Python is also the default language for the Raspberry Pi. So Python definitely wins in robotics uh, as well. So when it comes to mobile app development, both of these languages actually suck a fat one. Um, Python, you can use the Kiwi project, which is going to be the best thing you can do to write Python code that actually compiles down to like a, a native format for iOS and Android. Um, you probably will have some hard times with that. And then as far as Ruby is concerned, again, not the best language for um, mobile app development. But if you're interested in going that direction, I would probably check out Ruby Motion, but it's not free. So when it comes to jobs and salary, um, Python's going to have Ruby beat in this regards. Python has way more jobs. Right now, there's about 65,000 open job listings for Python development in the United States, whereas there's less than 20,000 for Ruby. So 20,000 job listings for Ruby, though, it's mostly in Ruby on Rails. And that, so that means there is still a strong demand for both of these languages. But when we look at the chart here... So while Ruby is not listed on this chart, you can see Python's demand is absolutely skyrocketing. Um, and unfortunately, you don't see the same thing with Ruby. You actually see a slight downtick just because uh, Ruby is not exploding like it was in, um, in adoption like when Ruby on Rails was at its peak. So when it comes to actual salaries, Python is going to have Ruby beat. According to Glassdoor, the average Python developer's salary is 92000 whereas Ruby is only 76000 That's actually a slight underestimation, I believe, because... According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, I believe the average software developer in the United States is making 103000 So um, typically, from what I've seen, Python developers are very highly paid because of the data, scientist, uh, data science field. 
When it comes to future demand, there is no competition here either. Python's going to have Ruby de uh, defeated. Um, if that continues to be the case, then obviously you're going to see less and less adoption for Ruby. A lot of people love Ruby because of Ruby on Rails, but um, if it wasn't for Ruby on Rails, then where would Ruby be? Like, would it be you know somewhere with Haskell or some sort of adoption rate like that? I mean, uh, who knows? But when it comes to longevity, I definitely think that Python has Ruby beat. When it comes to the learning curve, Python is going to be the winner in this regard. Uh, probably not by a great deal. Both languages are easy to learn. When it comes to the cost of both of these technologies, it's a draw. They're both free to use. When it comes to speed, both languages are actually um, very close to being uh, similar in speed, but Python does win in, uh, in a slightly more benchmarks. So Python's going to get the upper hand in speed, but just barely. So when it comes to stamina, and really what I mean by that is the history behind it, how long has it been around, you know, that because that generally indicates how much um, how much effort has been put into it and how much effort will be put into it going forward, or at least it can be an indicator of that. Uh, Python is an older language by five years, so Python's going to get the upper hand just simply because it is older and it has a larger community. When it comes to machine learning and artificial intelligence, there really is no comparison. Python is the clear winner. When it comes to mobile apps, both options are not very good, so it's going to be a draw. When it comes to jobs and salary, Python actually wins in that regard as well. There's way more jobs in Python, and the salaries are higher. And then finally, when it comes to the future, what is going to be the future demand between Python and Ruby? Python is going to be the clear winner, um, as you can see, because of all these green check marks that uh, Python basically excels at Ruby. Uh, at everything Ruby does, um, Ruby on Rails is, might get a slight edge for web development, but um, Django and Flask are still very good options.